Alright, 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 what is up guys? It is your boy once again with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, I have all my supplements here and I really want to make this video but I just I was waiting for this for these two to come in for my from inside supplements not that it really matters but I really want to make a video on my supplement stack I mean you need to make those put some click clickbait in there trust me it's nothing fancy uh, but I want to show you everything and actually tell you what its thing does why I take them and what and why maybe you should consider taking some of these supplements as well for my contract prep to get shredded almost six weeks out so I'll keep you updated with that as well but let's get on with the video so supplement number one I have another one yes these are the new ones this is the one I'm currently using the vanilla one protein powder you ask, okay, protein powder, pretty straightforward, but I'll, I'll explain it for the people that don't actually want to know what it is, because some people won't. Protein powder is a supplement that will help you get your total protein intake for the day. It will supplement your daily protein intake, and you need to have a high protein intake, especially now in prep it arguably should be even higher than usual because you're trying to preserve to preserve muscle mass you're trying to preserve all that hard gain muscle tissue that you gained in the off season and you don't want to lose that so you can go even higher than one gram per pound of body weight which is the main like uh, recommendation for most people and I'm, I currently am doing more than one gram per pound of body weight so this I take two scoops of that per day but now with a small change in my nutrition which I found I also use 15 grams with my fire yogurt meal so in total I guess it's 75 grams a day instead of 30 I got the vanilla one I got the Biscoff one it's which I'm gonna try today and I got the chocolate tala which is the nutella flavor also i think i would like to include the the f the taste test of that one maybe in the video i'm not sure but let's move on to the next supplement oh and to mention i also have the isolate one which i'm going to use mostly for peak week the isolate is a much faster absorbing uh, protein it's a way still but much much more absorbed uh faster absorption and very lower in calories and carbs so it's like as clean as it can get but I'm gonna use this mostly in my peak weeks where I don't need carbs and we need to carb deplete now moving on to these two which are the health supplements let's say we have the alpha men by my protein and the relax by my protein again I don't know if you can see that yet so these two are my go-to health supplements. I don't really take much, many supplements as you can see. It's really basic stuff. I don't even take creatine right now. I don't know why. It's not that I don't like it. I just don't take it. So I haven't used them yet because I have some vitamins that are about to end right there. The Solgar ones which are even better than the Alpha Men by the way. So this the Alpha Men is basically a multi -sup multivitamin supplement. You know, everything that's like calcium, vitamins, minerals, vitamin complexes, for overall health. But this one, the Relax. So this one is a stress slash stress management slash sleep supplement. Which I mostly will be using for sleep. Because in prep, your body gets into that survival mode. And even though you might not feel hungry, I mean, you do feel hungry, but even if you don't feel that hungry when trying to get to sleep, you might witness yourself waking up in the middle of the night and actually have an impaired sleep and not being 
not being able to wait to fully go through a full night's sleep without waking up in the middle of the night. So this has happened to me a few times during this prep. Not so much, but I'm keeping that. I haven't used it yet. I'm keeping it for the hard days that I know are gonna come the leaner I get. Now being six weeks out, I guess in the next 10 days, I will start using it daily, probably. Maybe the next two weeks, whatever. And now we, we're going to the performance supplements. So, performance supplements. These have directly, this is a sample, it's a pump product. I'm gonna have it probably tomorrow. So it's a pump pre-workout that has no caffeine in, no stimulants in, uh, but I don't really bought it, so I'm not even gonna talk about it. This was the first pre-workout that I bought. Actually, a friend of mine gave it to me as a present, but this is the Refocus by Foresight Nutrition. So, in the beginning of prep, because I didn't want to get cough, yeah, caffeine addicted for, right from the beginning. I am right now, by the way. I really am. I have caffeine every day in the form of coffee and some type of either pre or maybe on my rest days I might only have a coffee, but right now I'm having both coffee and either some pre, even that that has a bit of lower caffeine. So this one is a focus, 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 makes sense. Yeah, focus, focus, pre-workout, not much caffeine, like consistent energy which I really liked back in the day, but now it doesn't do it for me because being that deep into prep, I need something to actually give me that, not motivation, that drive to actually go through my training. So right now, it was on sale, they had a clearance sale, we have this sata satanic pre, which is the Wobs pre, I've only, it's a really high steam pre. I've only, I've only opened one tab yet, the orange mango and the jelly bean, which is unopened yet. So this is a high steam pre, pre-workouts have ingredients like caffeine, beta alanine, generally stimulants mostly, especially this one, is not as pump focused. I mean, it's not even pump, fo pump focused whatsoever, to be honest. And these help your actual performance in the gym with those active stimulant ingredients to better your performance and to keep you, to give you that drive to actually get through training. They're lifesavers at this point of prep, they are. Like I'm, I'm starting to get dependent on them, but fuck it. I don't take a full scoop of that, it's really strong. I take half a scoop. I haven't yet used it so much, I've only had like so far, one and a half, maybe two scoops in total, because I'm having half a scoop right now. But most of the days I don't take that. Like, most days it's either coffee and some kind of energy drink, maybe a monster, a rain, or something like that. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I haven't used it as much, but I'm gonna use it, I guess, more regularly, regularly as time goes by. So, yeah, I don't really have much else to say, like, these are the supplements, I don't really take much. I could get natural fat burners, I've thought of doing it, I've thought of your him buying and all this stuff, but I'm like, do I really need it? And I don't want to spend my money recklessly and even if I don't really need it. I mean, I did, I kind of did with the proteins, because I did get a bit more than I actually needed, but... This is my this is my escape right now. Like I live for this shit. I love oats so much. It's my favorite meal of the day. So I'm like, if there's something that I can enjoy, it's fucking protein powder. And I'm guess I'm gonna have more of that as the calories go lower. Right now it's the first day of of me going on. 1800 calories so the calories have been reduced only for rest days this week but probably from next week is going to be every single day just to update you on that so you will be looking forward to a full day of eating at 1800 calories i've also made some changes into my meals that you're going to see in the next full day of eating but yeah these are the supplements like protein pre-workout 
uh, the sleep one and the multivitamin. That's really it. And I haven't even used most of them. Like, I, I haven't used these ones yet. Wobs, fairly. These proteins came in today, that's why I make, I'm making the video today. And this one is Choco Bueno flavored, by the way. So this one is Nutella, supposedly Biscoff, or Lotus Biscuit, we'll see. And Choco Bueno in this one. So, I hope you get some help out of it. I hope you like the video. Uh, buy do I recommend supplements in general? Yes, I do. I do. I do believe they help. Especially the the simple the simplest one for everyone is a protein powder. You can make so many meals out of protein powder. It's crazy how useful it can be and how much it can aid to you keeping your your protein intake high as high as possible. So I do recommend a protein powder to say the least and some like basic multivitamin. These are the two supplements I would say I mostly recommend for people that don't even want to bodybuild or just gym goers because this one's going to make you meals and the other one's going to keep you healthy overall but yeah these are the supplements i take nothing special but i do believe it was a nice video to make and a needed one so next video i don't know what it's going to be about i also need to do a physique update six weeks out for you guys probably it's going to be in the next video though so around five weeks out to be honest so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something i hope you liked the video i hope you liked everyone likes supplements come on you do not not like supplements so yeah again follow me on instagram for more content i upload there every day something my stories i mean my stories are a bit, are a bit shit i don't provide that much value but that's who i am i like to upload like city stuff food here and there my oats I just upload my, upload my daily life on Instagram mostly, but I do provide some value in my posts and I also provide the physique updates there. So follow me on Instagram, like, subscribe, you know the drill, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!